How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I am proud to present to you my review for Spy Family Season 2, Episode 26, entitled Follow Mama and Papa. And before I go any further, please follow my finger and hit that like button. Follow the finger again, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified of more videos such as this one. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm I'm happy and excited. I really wanted to do this Saturday afternoon with some light because those of you who have been here before or for those of you who haven't been here before, when I did my Spy Family reviews, uh, I immediately, as soon as I watched it, I immediately jumped in and talked about them. I think that's back when I used to do my purpose play-by-plays when I just wrote everything down. I mean, I still write everything d- down now, but I'm not going to tell you everything play-by-play, you know, you know, unless unless I have to. And I was I was so close to doing that because I adore this show. Actually, I, if I remember correctly, I think this was my show for 2022 i think this is my favorite show of 2022 uh 2021 i'll give it to mushiko tensei i'm pretty sure that's mushiko tensei i gotta go double check double check my my years here but this definitely was it and i know that's kind of kind of hard to say you know you had stuff like uh chainsaw man came out that year too this this is definitely my number one i adore this show the new intro new outro that intro though so full of life that just eventually i'm gonna make a top five or top ten favorite intros and outros and spoiler you will see one of their songs on there because their intros are always so damn good and the outros always get me in the feels they're good please i'm gonna, I'm gonna put them at least put the not the long versions and put the short versions in the description if they're already out. But when you get a chance, if I get a chance, I'm going to put the full versions of them on there. Do yourself a favor. Just hit the close caption button. Read the li- the lyrics are so good. Like these are songs you could play every day, but the lyrics fit what's going on in the show. And a lot of them are based on Anya's point of view. And Anya, Anya is my favorite character in this show. It's it's crazy because you do see uh, spy family cosplays mostly. You know your your sexy mom assassin, right? I don't see a lot of Lloyd's. You know, uh, Lloyd Lloyd's pretty good. Like this 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 is one of the few shows where as soon as I think of it, I know all the characters. I think the only one I was struggling earlier with thinking of was Bond, and that's the dog. That's Borf Borf dog. Great show. But let me let me stop talking first of all this is an episode that perfectly shows everyone's like strengths right Ah, it's well except for bond but you know bond is there you know with agent penguin man and uh director chimera and there's someone else there's another person in anger's group i know he's p2 there's penguin man there's chimera I think that's I think that's it with Anya's spy agency. But aside from them, let's let let's so this this episode is your doing assassination, doing her thing, and she gets she's on the phone I guess with her handler. And she's like, no, you know I gotta go to gotta go straight home. You know, husband asked me to pick up milk and eggs. Gotta go do it. She's a dutiful wife, dutiful, beautiful, beautiful wife. And one of the guys wasn't dead. Shoots her hits her in the ass literally shoots her in the ass and she is in pain she looks miserable for 95 percent of this episode and it is hilarious and she's trying not to move and she can't tell him she he, she got shot right you can't tell lloyd that because he you know he he can't know and it's funny because Anya i read reads the minds which Perfect episode, the perfect recap in the beginning, by the way, going, you know, mother, uh, your forger, real occupation, assassin, thorn princess, uh, Lloyd forger, real occupation, spy, not a psychiatrist. She's not an office worker. 
and his code name's Twilight. Anya, she's an esper, reads minds, Bond can tell the future. No one is who they say they are. Well, the dog can't really talk. Uh, he, Anya can read his mind. But, yeah, great recap. Especially if you've missed most of season one. Great recap. But Anya's reading her mind, and Anya's hilarious because she's saying, Mama got shot with the gun, and she survived? Oh, she's so cool. And she's like, Mama, you gonna you gonna die? No, I'm not gonna die. I just need to go to bed. Got you got a bullet in my butt. And Lloyd is freaking out. He's missed the like Anya said, Papa has missed the mark again. Cause he thinks, Oh man, I shouldn't ask to get the milk and eggs. I gotta do something, I gotta save my fake family. I'm gonna be ousted. Her on the he wants to take her out on a date. Tells her the next morning. Her thing is, she's never been on a date. She we a little flashback in her mind of her um office mates asking you know what type of date she's been on and they're like well you're married so you had to been on dates she's never experienced dates and we get a reason why at the end i like that i like that the comeback episode is just one full episode because typically we have two missions sometimes we have three missions in there if they're short enough right (laughs) and um she's like i'm gonna learn from this let's do it anya said that anya cannot go on date because it's for the adults but <laughs> oh yeah i gotta bring up the red circus one more time but then i'm gonna save that for last but frankie who gets roped into this by lloyd because he goes you want to make new gadgets here's a list and frankie is best uncle mvp uncle because when so funny because his interactions with him and anya's interactions all in the first season are golden. Some, he is an amazing character. Makes her wave while she has her little shock face. And when she says, when she's in her mind, because she thinks about Bond Man, especially earlier when she, Lloyd is getting all the information because on the news was, was yours hit that she did on the Red Circus. And he's like, I get so much information from this. And Anya wants to watch anime, openly says it. Of course, he turns because she gives the cry face, but she sees the director directing Bond Man, directing her to follow them. She wants to follow, and Frankie just best uncle. Like, you know what? That does sound like fun. Let's disguise ourselves. Lloyd instantly knew it was them. He's like, I don't, he doesn't get what's fun about playing a spy. That is hilarious and adorable, but he's not going to do anything because, you know, if this is what she wants to do. I got to keep my pretend family happy. Lloyd had a 862 date plans. He is a dude with all the calculations. He's like, I got a way to make her happy. Snaps his finger. The car comes up. She cannot sit down or her butt will be in pain. Literally. But she's like, I'd rather walk. Cuts his plans down to 68. So 68. I feel like I wrote this down. Yep, cuts it down to 68, which was one off from the golden number. So I feel like that was done on purpose. <clears throat> but they try a bunch of different stuff, right? They try, um, they go to the park on the boats. She's standing up. They go to the movies. She's standing up. Frankie's crying during the movie. Anya's asleep. Uh, what else do they do? Uh, park, movies. By the way, th- at the cinema, the billboard for what was this movie? Ren, Ren AI or Ren Sai AI. Whoever drew that, it looks so detailed. It looks completely different from their faces. Really cool. Really, really cool. <clears throat> waku Waku. So exciting. <laughs> um, it's a thing Anya says. What else do they do? They, they go to that. They do that. I feel I got to run through this real quick. I feel like there's something else they went through. They went to the mall. That's the first thing they did. And he's like, you have such a nice figure. You know, you want to try on some clothes? And, you know, that's what people would love. It. You know, give me a little fashion show. And she thinks about the tight suit, which, you know, she would look good in it. But she's like, any tight clothes are going to wrap around me. It's going to make me think about this bullet. No, it's okay. I'm cool. It's hilarious. By the time. So he's trying to be like, man, I got to figure this out. You're probably tired. Let's have dinner. This man already had reservation. I got it candid to being the man of a thousand plans is amazing. All throughout this moment, Anya and Frankie are following him. It's it's funny. They can't even get into the restaurant because there's a dress code. And Frankie's wearing an outfit that has a big ass F on the cap. 
what is he, Mario? Anya is, I think Anya's look is, it has to be a callback to uh, Lloyd's handler. I think her name's Misty. One, also one of my favorite characters. She's, she's amazing. It's either a callback to her or to call back to Carmen San Diego. Might be a, a she seems like a callback to Carmen, Carmen San Diego, but it seems like a little mixture of both. I and her her cute little outfit. They're gonna do infiltration because Anya hears in her mind, here comes back to Red Circus. One of the bad guys recognize Lore. Lore? Your. Huh. Lloyd and Your. Lore. But he recognizes Your. He's like, that's Storm Princess. I gotta avenge my fallen brothers. Although he had given up that life. Because he has a live-in girlfriend, Cynthia. He's like, I, I thought I gave it an all up, but I gotta avenge them. And Anya hears this. Now, when Frankie's like, this is not fun anymore, let's go. Anya is begging him for them to stay. Again, he is the best uncle. Because he can tell she cares about this pretend family. In her mind, she's thinking, well, yours gonna kick this dude's butt. And Lloyd's gonna go, you're, you're an assassin. We're getting a divorce and we're going to get rid of Anya. And she's like, no, this can't happen. Her facial expressions are freaking hilarious. I don't know if that's if I'm going to put put one up, one up as the uh, thumbnail, but I'm tempted. Regardless of such, you'll know if if I've done it already. You've clicked on the video. Regardless of such, her and Frankie do infiltration. First of all, the way. um. I don't know the creator's name offhand, but the way he draws feet, he draws her little tiny legs and she has on these long boots and it's kind of adorable. It's very adorable. And she's reading this dude's mind. She's trying to stop him from putting blowfish poison in this glass because this place, this place is known for it. But in, in real life and in this one, blowfish from the east, haha, blowfish can be deadly if it is not served correctly. This man, they ordered drinks, right? She ordered a cocktail. This man just squeezed the blowfish and then the poison comes out. I know it doesn't work that way, but it's a hilarious visual. And when she drinks this stuff, she instantly, her back feels, she feels great. She doesn't feel the poison. And the reason why she didn't die and just only feels woozy is because she has built up an immunity to poisons. I mean, if you've seen her cooking, which reminds me of Goku Dara. Is it Goku Dara? Remind me of uh, of the guy's older sister from um, Reborn. Her cooking is pretty much poisonous, so she probably has built up an immunity to that. And she's ready to eat. Lloyd notices the good mood. This dude thinks about making a bomb. Now, let's talk about this. They bleep out the ingredients that he's going to use to make the bomb. He's already mapped out what the place looks like in his head in the storage room and what can be used to make it. It's called A-R-E. I don't know what A-R-E stands for, but didn't even try to look it up. But he's going to make a bomb out of this stuff. And Anya has already slipped out of the grate without Frankie noticing. Good job, Anya. You're going to be a great spy assassin when you become older. And she's already prepared for it. She put olive oil on the floor, made this dude slip, set up a Home Alone-esque trap that falls on his head. Doesn't knock him out, but she made a peanut. The container that would have been perfect explodes in his hand. Explodes so loudly, everyone in the restaurant hears it. This dude works there, by the way. Uh, explodes there, and it's a peanut bomb. And she walks up, puts a fake gun in his, in his, near his head, and she straight up, she straight up says, look, <laughs> wait, 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 I want to see this. Uh, you need to give up being a bad guy because this is what he was thinking. She's using all his thoughts against him. And this is such a great use of her powers. She's done it before, but I love when anytime they show this, especially for a season opener, give up being a bad guy completely. And when she aims the gun, she says, look, I would, you get one chance, you would not get another chance. Make, his girlfriend's name is Catherine. She says, Catherine, Catherine, C-A-T-H-U-R-I-N. Hilarious. I love my subtitles. Make Catherine a happy lady. And he's like, dang, they even know about Catherine. 
And he's thinking that Thorn Princess set this all up. He's like, man, I can't beat her. She even using the kid. I'm not suited for this realm. I'm just he's going to continue to turn over a new leaf, which is amazing that you're so good at her job. Initially, this dude quit. He was behind a thing, covering his mouth like I'm not. Nah, I'm not doing it. But when he thinks he can get the jump on her, he's going to try to advance them. And when it doesn't work, he immediately more criminals need to think about that and just turn your life around. Turn your life around. Uh, good stuff on Anya. Anya saved the day. The ending part is, is cute. Remember when I told you earlier we're going to find out why she's never been on a date. She's never been on a date because she's always been taking care of her brother, Yuri. And, you know, she never had time to have fun. She thanks Lloyd for this and says, we should do another one in her mind when I'm feeling better. So invitation to do it again. Now, they were going to go down to a carnival because we're at night <clears throat> traveling carnival. And Anya just jumps out the bushes. I want to go too. <sighs> that girl is adorable. Of course, the next morning, the blowfish poison has worn off and she feels the bullet again and she looks miserable. Now, I love they blanked out the bomb thing because we're not going to have people try to make bombs because we're making this show. But they also put up do dangerous. Do not try at home when it comes to the blowfish. He's saying <laughs> the narrator sign. Lit up literally says there's a fine line between medicine and poison. Take you take whatever is advised to you. Regular people should take what is advised to them by doctors and medical, you know, medical people, people who have trained for this and pharmacists and whatnot. Do not try this at home. I love it. They've done this before. Fantastic. <sighs> uh, new ending is clip art. May sound dumb, but it's really, really good. And it all turns out that it's just Anya with her drawing. And of course, Lloyd doesn't know what she's drawn, but it's so, so good. All up in the fields. Um, the next mention is going to be Bond's strategy to stay alive and Damien's field research trip. So we're, I, we're going back. This I, I love this. This Is this comedy action? It feels like it's comedy action. I get we'll call this comedy action. I love I love all this comedy and all this action in this show. It's so great. This <clears throat> make sure I didn't forget anything. This instantly gets a five out of five from me. This is literally what the show is about. Each of them using their abilities in a way that helps. I think one of the best episodes from last season, I think it was the opener for part two for core two with the with the entire bomb plot and bond able to see the future and uh Anya reading his mind going oh no my father's gonna die if I don't do anything so her using her powers to make sure he stays alive him using his abilities to stop the bomb plot and even your when she thinks I when well she is when Anya's in trouble beating the crap out of the bad guys whittling them down to the one extreme leader and this you see this in the show your Doing her assassin thing, although she got shot in her butt, you know, like uh, Martin Lawrence and Bad Boys. Was that Bad Boys 2? Ba Bad Boys 2 or Bad Boys 1? Bad Boys 1, I think. But her getting shot in the butt regardless. And Lloyd, the man of a thousand plans, having 862. But he still has, you know, he still has 68. 68. That's, that's pretty good. To have 68 plans just for a walking day, that's pretty damn good, man. Uh, Frankie, MVP. We'll see more of Mr. Borf, Mr. Bond. But this was this was so fun. <sighs> so excited. You can tell I'm excited because for this weekend set of reviews, it ain't Loki. It's not Rurouni Kenshin. That's that's coming next. Not Pokemon. And I still owe you guys some One Piece. It's it's Spy Family. Can't pan beat this. Five out of five. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy last season? Did you enjoy this opener? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know. Who's your favorite character in this show? Dip, dip. It's Anya. Thousand, thousand percent. Anya's the best. She's hilarious. <clears throat> Even in the outro, when she's pointing at the clip art Damien, she has that very memeable, rememberable face of her, her eyes, her little half moon, half moon slit eyes with the and trying to put on a nice face and she's failing horribly. 
I honestly don't care if this show ever ends. Run forever. So, again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Please don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of more reviews, such as this one right here. <clears throat> I thank you all. I appreciate you all. Please be good, be blessed. Wash them hands. Drink you some water. All right? Make sure you drink that water. Be safe out there. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Either way it goes, please don't be a jerk, all right? There's too many of those in the world. As a matter of fact, you're probably not a jerk. But if you feel like you're a jerk and if you're feeling down and out, make sure you reach out to somebody, all right? There are people out here that care about you. I care about you, all right? There are people that rather talk to you today than to mourn you and miss you tomorrow. So, hey, my social medias are in this description. Holla at me. Send me a follow. I ain't going to be rude. As long as you ain't a jerk, I ain't going to be a jerk. All right. All right. Well, can't wait to see you guys next week. Ah, is it Saturday yet? I can't wait. I'll see you then.